All right, so I got a new torch. Let's do a torch review here. Uh, this is called the Special Blue, and this is the full metal, this one. Because it has the metal grip. It has like a pistol grip. And it's a really nice grip. It's like a grip I would want I would want on my Glock. That has, it's uh, like a metal, I guess it's like an aluminum or an alloy. It has that finish, has a nice matte finish to it and a texture to it. But it doesn't hold a lot of gas. Uh, it takes about four seconds to refill. So it doesn't hold a lot of gas. Let's see, look, it says... On the bottom there, it says, warning, it takes three to four seconds of fill time for this torch. If you fill it more than four seconds when you light it, it's going to give off like a big flame. It's going to like spurt out like a big torch flame like, like out here. And then once that burns off, it'll go back down to the normal size. And it'll probably give you about a two-minute flame, which is about good for, for me for about three dabs. Uh, if I do a cold start or a, or a hot or a hot start, maybe two dabs if, if they're big dabs that I keep reheating a lot, you know. Um, but if it's like you know a cold start like this, That's how you get the best flavor. Cold starts gives you the best flavor from Terps. This is like some purple purple punch. If you look at, if you Google like the top torches, um, this is usually in the top 10. The top one is always like the Blazer GT800 or the Big Blazer. And um, that's a very popular torch. It's like a $50 torch or a $60 torch. Um, I've used them before, they're great. Mainly because you don't have to keep on refilling them. They hold a lot, they're just, and they have a very big consistent flame. This gives you, like I said, about two minutes, um, and then the flame dies down. The flame gets really low, and you tell you need to reheat it. And when the flame gets low, you can get like another 30 seconds out of it. Like you could almost heat a banger from cold with a low flame before it completely runs out. So it doesn't just go from big flame to dead. It gives you like a, like, so if you're heating a banger, let's say, and you run out halfway, you can, you can, you can get it hot with the, with the, with the low flame, which will last you probably like another minute maybe before it runs out. So it's pretty cool. It's ideal the way it works. I like it. I think, I don't know if it was purposely designed that way, um, but, you know, you just learn how to work with it. It's a pretty cool tool. Um, it refills very easily. It has a very good spout that doesn't, you know, doesn't give me any problems refilling it. Um, and it takes about four seconds to refill. Like I said, you refill it more than that, and it just starts spouting out fluid and burns it off in like a big flame. Until, until the excess burns off and then it gets to the regular flame like around here. And then that lasts for about two minutes and the flame goes down to here for about a minute. Uh, they had two other kinds that were the same price, Special Blue Make, and this was $30. They're all $30 um, and they all have the same type of nozzle, uh, the same type of flame. Um, it's just one has a big canister. I guess you could probably fit maybe a third of this in there. You know, maybe like maybe like a third of this can it had, um, you know, <clears throat> in that one. So you don't have to probably, you could probably get like maybe like, this has two minutes of a big flame. You could probably get maybe like six or eight minutes of a big flame out of that one. Maybe, I don't know, because it was bigger. And then they had one called a Terminator, which you could swivel the head around. 
So if you want to make the head straight like a 90 degree or up or this or straight up like that. Um, and that was kind of cool, but I figured I would never use that feature for anything. Um, that was good. That's good maybe for welding for like a tool. Um, but for a dab torch, I don't, unless you're going to set it up in, in a way where you can stand it up and hit the banger. So like if you want to just stand it up and just like click it like that and put it on continuous and it'll be the exact height for your banger. I guess you can do that, but I like I like this. Just when I felt this in my hand, like I said, this is a grip that would I would want on my Glock, because once you feel it in your hand, you know it's a, like this is perfect. Like it's the perfect weight, it's the perfect handle. I'll never drop this thing. You know what I mean? Like it's just perfect, and you can lay it flat because the way this is designed, you can hold it like this, and it doesn't get hot because it's just the way that's designed. So like even if it's hot, you can put it down like that. And it's not gonna like, even though it's silicone, it wouldn't burn it, but it wouldn't it wouldn't even get hot. Um, so that's a pretty cool feature, because I find out with my my other torch, with with torches, either they're always falling the fuck over, or they have a big stupid base on the bottom. It's one or the other, right? So this one you could just lay down flat. Who gives a fuck, right? If it's falling over a lot, but you can still stand it up. It stands up because it has some weight to it. So I like it. Ergonomically, it's good. I think maybe the blazer, the big blazer, might have a better flame overall because that thing always scores number one on every top on every top ten list. Um, and it's a good torch, but it's it's definitely more expensive than this. This was this was thirty dollars, and um, I wouldn't spend anything more than that. But um, yeah, I mean, I've I've had it for about uh, four days. I've you know used it for two days straight. Um, I went through a whole can of butane with it already, and uh, I I like it. I'd buy it again. So that's called a special blue, the full metal. All right.